All right, everybody, Parker's point of view with week nine NFL picks. First off, big congrats to TFC last night. Huge 2-1 win in Atlanta. Moving on to the finals. Facing Seattle for the third time in four years. Both teams' impressive road wins to make it there. Congrats. Now, week nine, NFL starts tonight. Arizona hosting San Fran. San Fran, their 10-point road favorites. Wow, Arizona won three in a row, I beat up. Your offense looked good on against bad teams, but wow, you need to be able to stop a tight end if you have any chance, any chance of keeping this game respectable tonight against San Fran. 49ers still unbeaten and George Kittle just must be sitting there. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. He could go off and have a big game because Arizona just, you know, they're giving up so many points to tight ends this year, especially if you're a fantasy football player. So I am going to go with San Fran to win this game. And then 10, I don't like that number, so I'm going to pick Arizona against the spread, but it's not a strong play. I'd rather stay away from that game altogether on every level. Uh, Houston. In London, Jacksonville is technically the home team. Uh, the Texans are 9-2 and in their last meetings against Jacksonville. I think the London matchup being Houston's first time over there, the loss of J.J. Watt last week, I think it might be a little much to overcome for Houston this week. And I think Jacksonville can pull off an upset here and cover the small one and a half point dogs that they are. So I'm going with Jacksonville and the points. Uh, Washington plus nine, Buffalo nine point favorites at home. Washington is horrible. They've only covered once in their last 10 games against the spread. So I'm going to pick Buffalo to bounce back after that bad beat by against Philadelphia last Sunday. Buffalo, I'm going to take them on the nine points. I think they win by 10 or 10, 14, 13, something like that. So I'll roll with the Bills. Tennessee at Carolina. Carolina minus three and a half point home favorites. You got Henry on one side, McCaffrey on the other. This should be a pretty fun game if you like ground and pound football because I see both teams running the ball a lot here. I think it should be a pretty close game. So I'll roll with Carolina at home to win the game, but Tennessee to cover the points. I think there'll be enough to keep it close. Uh, all my lines, by the way, are from Bet365. Bet365 is the site I bet with. I know a lot of you probably play pro line or whatever if you're up here in Canada. I'll throw like five ten bucks on pro line every week or something but i really like and enjoy betting on bet 365 way better um chicago plus five on the road in philadelphia eagles coming off that big win in buffalo big bounce back game after a couple losses in a row to even up their record uh five point home favorites they're getting healthy the eagles have won four straight up covered their last four in them four games as well I'm going to pick the Eagles to continue their dominance over the Bears. Looking good. And the fact that I don't necessarily agree with this stat, but Howie Rossman, maybe that's why you didn't make any moves at the trade deadline this week on Tuesday there. But the Eagles are 13-5 and when Mills, Jalen Mills and Ronald Darby are starting at cornerback. They're both back. They'll both be in the starting this Sunday against the Bears. So I'll pick the Eagles. Minnesota Vikings at Kansas City. There are no odds yet. OTB odds to be determined. I guess it's uh, all waiting still on Mahomes' decision. Is Mahomes going to return or not? So I'm going to roll the dice, take a chance that Kansas City gets Mahomes back and Kansas City wins and covers this game. As long as the spread is not more than a touchdown. If it's seven or more, I take Minnesota on the spread, Kansas City to win. If it's six and a half or less, I'll take Kansas City on the spread. Wait for that line to come out. New York Jets are playing the winless Miami Dolphins, and are the Jets really any better? Uh, New York three-point road favorites. I'm just going to roll the dice, and you, honestly, if you're betting this game, if it's not an office pool where you have to pick every game, don't even fucking play this game either. There's a few stay away games this week, but I'll, I'll just roll with the dice and hope Darnold's not seeing ghosts anymore. So New York to win by three plus over Miami. Indianapolis at Pittsburgh is the next one. Pittsburgh's one point home favorites. Why? Because they came back against the winless Dolphins with Rudolph at quarterback. Whatever. Probably just, and also remember, a lot of these lines aren't necessarily where they think the game's going to be. It's where they think they can make the most money on both sides from all of us who like to fucking gamble, picking it and putting the same amount of money or similar money on this team as on this team. The visitors are home, however you want to look at it. 
So Indy, I am all over Indy this week. I think they're going to win this game. They'll win it by at least a touchdown, in my opinion. I'm big, big, big time on Indy, the Colts, this week. Detroit, two-and-a-half-point road dogs in Oakland. Oakland, two-and-a-half-point home favorites. No defense in this game. I don't expect either defense to do much, as they haven't done most of the year. They both rank in the 20s in DVOA. So I will expect a high-scoring game, and the over might be a play. It's one of only two games where the overs, over-under is 50-plus points, I believe. That might be a way you guys want to roll, but I will take the home side in this game. I'll take Oakland, a field goal to cover, kick a field goal to win it at the end, whatever. Tampa Bay on the road at Seattle. Seattle, six-point home favorites. Uh, the shocking thing to me is that Seattle's lost two games at home this year, I believe, if I remember correctly already, so... I don't think they're going to lose, but they've shown that they can be a little more vulnerable. That That's not that dominating, fearful place that it has been over past years. And I'm a little surprised at that. So I'll take Seattle to win the game, but Tampa Bay to stay within the six points and cover. You never know what you're going to get with Tampa Bay. One, one week they could put up 50 points, the next week it's six interceptions, three loss fumbles in a loss. So right, I'll take Seattle to win, Tampa to cover. Cleveland Browns. Can get on a roll they're in denver denver joe flacco's not playing i wrote down the starter's name brandon allen sorry i've never heard of this kid he's a qb that played with arkansas i think i read somewhere but i really know nothing about him uh in that situation i'm just gonna pick cleveland and the three points even though they're on the road and against denver uh green bay is three and a half point favorites at dla chargers Green Bay is 7-0, dating back to 1995, against the Chargers, 6-1 against the spread in those seven meetings. I'm going to have to go with the Packers. Aaron Jones, Aaron Rodgers, uh, hopefully Dev Devontae Adams returns for the Pack this week. I think they're going to continue to roll and show their serious threats in the NFC and all of football that right now you got to give Green Bay and New Orleans as the cream of the crop in the NFL. I don't think you can argue it. I don't think any other team is shown as effective as them ones. I do expect Kansas City, Baltimore, New England to be there in the end as well on the AFC, but right now the cream of the crop is the Saints and the Packers. So the Packers to win and cover that three and a half. New England on the road in Baltimore. The Patriots are three and a half point favorites. Very public team. Uh, if they weren't so public heavy, then I don't think the Patriots uh, might even be a one point underdog if this were a two two other teams that weren't where it wasn't such a public heavy favorite so i'm going to roll and bill belichick's one chink and bill belichick's honor while well, i just thought of this um i believe you guys could maybe research and prove me wrong but i believe that mobile quarterbacks have a lot more success against bill belichick and it seems to be the one sort of weakness if there is a weakness with belichick's coaching where he can be had by other teams if you have a mobile enough quarterback who can throw somewhat accurately and lamar jackson showing he can not only run the ball he can throw the ball he can throw it deep doesn't matter he's got the speedy youngster and marquise brown out there on the wideout. he's got good running backs he's got decent lines so i like baltimore in the upset actually i'm picking baltimore straight up and to cover the small three and a half point spread that new england is favored by uh last game monday nighter dallas at the new york giants good nfc east divisional matchup you got two of the best running backs in the game zeke versus saquon who's gonna come out on top i like dallas to win this but seven point favorites for dallas no that number's too high for an nfc east matchup once in a while, these teams will blow each other out, especially maybe if one's as weak as Washington. But e even still, if this number's too high, I'll take the Giants to cover the spread, but I don't see them losing. I don't see Dallas losing to the Giants overall. They'll win by three or four or something like that. Prescott maybe uh, throws it, tosses one or is Elliott scampers into the end zone late or something to put Dallas ahead for good. Uh, that's my week nine picks. Hope you guys enjoy. I hope it's a much better fucking week than last week. One of my worst weeks of the year. Peace.